Hi, Michelle with Idle Time Crafts, coming to show you how you can resize an image in the design space for Cricut. You can choose whether you would like an image, an upload, or even a shape. We're going to do shape just to keep it simple today. So you'll click on your image and choose your image there. Once it uploads, you can use your cursor and mouse pad to move it wherever you'd like within the software here. There's a couple different ways you can resize your image. You can use just these two arrows right here to resize the entire image proportionately, meaning that it moves both the height and the width at the same time, keeping it proportion or you can unlock that in order to only move a height or a width at one time. So you can move up and down with your cursor. You can move side to side with your cursor. If you know that you're looking for a specific size, rather than, let's say we're going for a six inch wide image, and rather than sitting here and trying to catch six inch exactly using your cursor, the other way you can resize an image is to come up here where it says size. This is your width, this is your height. And you could just highlight that, delete it, and type in the exact size you were going for and hit enter. And it will resize the image to that size. If this unlock feature is on, that means you can resize it one proportion at a time, whether it's your width or your height. If it is locked, that means it is going to resize the image all at once again, So, but it will stay within the proportions that you've already started. So we've already started this image right now, or we have locked it as a rectangle. So if I were to come over here and adjust this to five inches, you'll notice that my width changed as well because I locked it. It stayed proportionate now to the same width and height to give it exactly the way that the program wanted it to be with five inches. If you were wanting to readjust this back to six inches width, then you would again unlock your feature and go ahead and change that back to a six and now you can have a six by five rectangle. This works with any kind of cut, whether it's an uploaded image, an image from Cricut, or a text. Hope this helps and have a great day.